Water is the most essential element to our survival, and bad water means bad health. Water makes up more than two-thirds of the weight of the human body, and without it, we would die in a few days. The United Nations Millennium Development Goal number one is to eradicate extreme poverty and hunger to reduce by half the proportion of people living on less than a dollar a day by 2015. And according to the World Water Development Report, problems of poverty are inextricably linked to those of access to the quality and quantity of water. In our quest to raise awareness on the matter, South South News traveled on site to Pure Safe Water Systems in New York. We have the ability to send it to a tanker, a tanker, 5,000 gallons, whatever that might be. All are capable of delivering water. We can produce 30,000 gallons of water per day, which should feed about 45,000 people. And it's easily deployable, can be lifted by a helicopter, takes about 30 minutes to set up, and you're in full operation. According to experts, improving the access of water to the world's poor has the potential to make major contributions toward poverty reduction and in the containment of waterborne diseases. According to the UN, the number of people dying from cholera in Haiti has been on a downward trend since late January. But the fact remains that if Haiti had an existing water purifying system or solid irrigation infrastructure, the cholera disease could have been contained at the onset. When I looked around the world and I saw that the essence of life is water and every human being has the right to clean drinking water and I saw children dying, more hospitals filled with waterborne diseases than cancer and war, I said that it takes one person to make a difference and I had a vision I met with a lot of people, and today the vision is not just a vision or a dream, it's a reality. According to Global Statistics on Water, nearly 1 billion people do not have access to safe water, and nearly 2.5 billion people do not have access to improved sanitation. And climate change related issues in countries such as Kenya, where food and water shortages persist due to floods or inadequate rainfall, could be avoided, according to top UN humanitarian officials, if more of Kenya's land is used for irrigation farming, providing water to pastoral livestock herders, and improving animal husbandry through disease control. Dr. Noah Wakesa, Kenya's Minister of Forestry and Wildlife, joined us to find out how such water systems could help Kenya. What I've seen here could be uh, of great use uh, in uh, different areas of Kenya. Uh, the issue of clean water is very critical in many of our municipalities. And I could see this uh, machine being uh, placed in a municipality where uh, people cannot access, uh, access clean water, and this can be of great uh, use to, to our people. The ability to have a machine that can provide the amount of pure drinking water helps a company in terms of its ability to have its young people uh, be healthy. By being healthy, it's easier to have them educated. Uh, you keep the health issues down because right now 4,000 children die a day because of waterborne diseases. So we feel that the ability to give kids healthy you know, drinking water and the ability that we can run nutrients through the system and give them you know, additional healthy drinking water is, is a real plus. The new Pure Safe water system can run 24 7, producing enough safe water for more than 45,000 people per day. That's 30,000 gallons of safe drinking water during disaster and emergency situations from just about any water source, including severely contaminated water. Afaf Kanja, South South News, New York.